Welcome back everyone to another tutorial. Last week I participated in Bracky's Game Jam and I made this little game which has a cool effect which is a slow motion effect. Whoops, that's a super dash effect. But I also have, let's say, a slow motion effect in which I pretty much slow down everything. But I also speed up, let's say, the, the player by just manipulating the play controller stats giving you this kind of effect that you are still a little bit faster than the rest and you can easier let's say manipulate or get around these different difficult objectives within the game so that's pretty cool i'm going to show you now how i made it i didn't use any code for it i used playmaker so as mentioned in the thumbnail on the title we don't need any code here is the bullet time fsm the finite state machine uh, I use bullet time the moment I press shift, but it can be anything you would like. What I always have in this bullet time that the beginning state is also the standard scale time, which is, should be one. So you have, let's say 0 0.5 is half the speed, two is double the speed. So it should always standardly be one. What I also add here was a, let's say, manipulating the um, uh, G uh, the user interface. So I have this kind of icon, which show that bullet time and i know it's perhaps not the best icon but i just turn it on and off whenever bullet time is available or not so uh, the moment i enter bullet time i create this kind of slow-mo particle effect as you saw earlier uh, i just spawn it at the player and what i do then i scale the time so this is let's say your main um, action you need to manipulate time or the speed of your game scale time 0.3 and I also do adjust fixed delta time on that it's not frame independent so this will keep your game consistent um, I kept it then for two seconds but you can do whatever you like so for example if your game is if you hit someone or uh, enemy dies and you shortly want to manipulate time you can of course make it shorter or go straight into the next action which has a kind of a float value uh, or a curved float I will show you that so as you can see here, I changed the icon off. And what I do is I change the property of the player controller. So there's a controller with all the different actions. Of course, if your controller is made in Playmaker, it's no problem. Then you just have to select that uh, variable. Um, if it's a float, it should just be a global float. And then you can manipulate it to, let's say, increase the movement speed. So normally the movement speed is five. I just double the speed. So that means the character can still move in the same way. Um, I also changed the dash speed. This is now a playmaker um, action uh, of the new dash, which you also saw in the game. I can make a separate video on that one. And I also increased, let's say, the speed there. So it gives you still a feel that you are actually getting stronger at the moment of your bullet time. Then where the magic happens is here in the next state. Um, this is, let's say, the bullet time state where I return then from the 0 0.3 to 1 with a curve float. So you have a curve float here and the curve float is, is pretty good. Um, I always put it in real time. Um, and then you can say within one second, the value goes from 0 0.3 to one. Uh, and then the curve float does that. And I also do that in movement speed going from 10 back to five, as well as the dash 35 back to 20. And then of course I set the property accordingly to the movement speed so that it's updated every frame and then also scale time and this can also be done every frame um, and then you will have that that effect now i didn't do every frame i realized for my game i like to snap back into the normal speed um, and have it a little bit slowed at the end but uh, you can manipulate it by having the scale so it's uh, kind of optional but i like to have this curve upwards uh, play around with it a little bit. After that, I just wait for two seconds. So, I mean, you have like kind of cool down for the bullet time and you can do this in any way you would like for your game. Yeah? Uh, if you pick up an item that it resets, then you just add this in a, in a simple action or send a message from another FSM to this one to, let's say, uh, enable the bullet time again. And then you go back to the idle. And this pretty much then gives you the desired effect 
and demonstrate shortly in the end results. So now there's no music here because I also turned off the music once. And as you can see, there's a lot of moving objects and I can pretty much slow them down with bullet time and then make it through much easier. It's pretty much impossible if you don't have bullet time, I suppose now nah, it should be possible, but very tricky. Whoops. And then of course with bullet time, you can also plan these kind of moves and you can make, let's say shortcuts or something like this. Or exactly do it like this. So give yourself a little bit more time before you execute the right action to move on within the game. So I think it's a really cool feature you can add to your game. Play around with it. I would love to see some bullet time games uh, pop up using my method. If you have any better method, please leave it, leave it in the description. And uh, if you like the video, feel free to subscribe. You don't have to. Uh, and have a nice day, week, and make cool games. See you next time. Cheers.